my way. Is this guy supposed to be the ultimate badass? Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the latest mock draft here at the channel. This is serious. Boom. Right. So, this is going to be a five round mock draft with a trade down. All right. So, this is a fun one. Uh, we're, the, 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 we're going to give you some new names here. We're not like some other boring motherfuckers that keep giving the same old fucking names because they really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. All right. So, without further ado, let's get into this mock draft. Here we go. Round one. Patrick Paul, all right? Cowboys made a trade down from 24 to 28 to acquire and draft Patrick Paul, the offensive tackle from the University of Houston, all right? Uh, 6'8", 331, behemoth, all right? Behemoth, the motherfucker, all right? This guy has played left tackle his whole career there at Houston. 44 games of this. So there's no guessing game here. Like you're talking about Guyton, Mims, these other motherfuckers. But, oh, the transition, the little motherfuckers. The project with Patrick Paul. I was talking about this guy enough, but uh, Mean Street. He plays with good power, big hands. His kick out is good. Um, honestly, I think some people are going to be surprised where Patrick Paul gets drafted. Uh, he, I mean, honestly, a team could could go up here and end up taking him before these other guys who we're talking about. Or they don't know where you're going to put him at, right? Patrick Paul's a pick at 28. You know, we, we picked up two-fourths from Buffalo. Okay, Buffalo wanted to move up. They didn't have a third. So we said, you know what, we'll take your two-fourths. Let's get the deal done. To move down four spots, we get Patrick Paul. Let's go to the next pick. Round right. two. Xavier Leggett, right? Wide receiver. It's time, ho. Time for Mike McCarthy to get his wide receiver. Finally. You know, they're finally going to give him this. And uh, you're getting a playmaker. A budding playmaker, right? Fantastic senior bowl. Fantastic player. Good hands, speed, route runner, the whole nine, bro. Uh, will he be there at the bottom of the second will be the question, okay? So I like him. He has several 100-yard-plus games. So this guy, he has a knack for the football. He can high point it. He has the body type of some receivers that, that McCarthy's had in the past, kind of like uh, Greg Jones. This type of guy. He's similar in, in this type of way. So uh, that's going to be the pick there. Let's go to the next round. Round three. Cornerback Cam Hart. Notre Dame up in this bitch. All right. So Cowboys, they need more depth here. You know, Gilmore's gone. Um, probably sliding in uh, Deron Bland here opposite Trayvon Diggs. Let's see how Diggs looks from the, uh, the surgery. You know what I mean? Cowboys don't have a good record of bringing players back successfully from injury. This is a proven thing. Everybody that has come back from injury has not looked good. Oh, and then the excuses come. It takes, it actually takes another additional year to be a full 100%. So other players getting hurt around the league, you know, they, they, they push it. They come back within eight months, 12 months. And with the Cowboys, it's excuse city, dude, off the fucking ass. Oh, it's a, or steal. It, it's actually another year, and then he'll be 100%. You don't give me that shit with, with, with Diggs, bro. If they do that, they need to fire this fucking staff, man. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Right? Fix that shit anyway. No, I'm sorry about that little rant, but it's true. So Cam Hart gives you depth here. You, you, you can never have enough quarterbacks. You can never have enough cornerback. Cam Hart, he is a good player. Height, speed, knocked out the combine. 
fantastic player, man. Um, captain, you know what I mean? So he's a leader. You need more of that in the secondary. Okay, you get that with, with Cam Hart here. If he's there in the third round, he was. I took him. All right, let's go to the next pick. Round four. Here come our fourth rounders. Tommy Eichenberg, all right? All right. Linebackers, they do not stretch very well in this draft, in my opinion. So, you know, you want to add some more depth. Cowboys, they're going to come in here with Kendricks, Overshone, and uh, Damone Clark. Okay, so those are, those are your three leaders there right now. Tommy Eichenberg will come in here and uh, be thrown into the mix. He'll get some playing time. He'll be a special teamer. This guy, he is a, a tackling machine, okay? Now, he's an old school type of a linebacker. He's kind of like a like an Erlocker type, you know, where he's a downhill kind of tackler, all right? Lateral movement is not, is not the best, but you want to do seek and strike, pursuit, uh, Tommy Eichenberg uh, will get the will get the deal done, man. If you watched any Ohio State football, he was always around the ball. He was always, you know, very disruptive and a really good run defender. Okay, so that that's his strength. What do we need? Run defense. Okay, so get this guy in here in the fourth round. Let's go on to the next pick. Round four. Carson Steele. All right. Oh, you could get him later. Shut the fuck up, dude. All right. You always got these guys that come in here. Oh, that's a reach. You could get him there. No, but let's let's be real. Nobody knows shit about shit where these guys are gonna get drafted, bro. All right, so calm, calm your G strings out, man. All right, this is the pick here for me because I want to add attitude to the running back. I want to add physicality to the backfield. All right, I want to add somebody that has good speed, breakaway speed, which Carson still has. Physical players is really what he is, man. You you need this in this backfield. Whether you get one earlier, like a Braylon Allen, maybe Andre Estime, you need a physical back of this stature in this draft. If you don't get those guys I just said, Carson's still here. Yeah, maybe you could get him in the fifth, but I want to make sure I got this guy in my roster, man. UCLA. Combos were there. Um, he was a good-ass player, man. Go watch the tape of Carson Still. This guy is a white MB3. Marion Barber. The rest is home. Same, same type of style, man. This guy does, will not go down. He's always moving forward. He has a really good average here. You know, uh, a nose for the end zone, you know, which, which we... We had an issue here last year because Zeke was, wasn't here. You didn't have that guy that could sniff the end zone. I'm not going Hunter Lipke. I'm not going with Rico Dow. Get, give me somebody, bro. All right, so Carson's still here in the fourth round. Let's go to the fifth and final pick. Round five. Safety Evan Williams out of Oregon. All right. Coming in here around uh, 5'11 or so. This is a this would be an interesting pick here for Zimmer. You want a box safety type of guy. You know, I think he would be a package. He would, you know, you, you would run him out into the field for a package, a different kinds of package where you need run support. This guy does really good in pursuit, good speed. And uh combos met with him at the combine. Evan Williams, safety out of Oregon. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this mock draft as we go. As we get closer to the real deal, Cowboys have so many holes. All right, you can really go in any direction, in any round. You can get a certain guy earlier if you want. You can get linebacker earlier if you want. You can get cornerback later if you want. You can get a wide receiver early, early or later, later. I mean, there you you can have a mix of whatever. The Cowboys have so many holes, man. They put themselves in this hole by the way they roster build. And they're finally being exposed, man. <clears throat> Going cheap in free agency. And expecting your whole draft class to be good players is not is not acceptable, man, because it just isn't realistic. Cowboys don't have good draft classes. 
Most of the time they hit on their first rounders. Second rounders, they roll the dice every fucking year. So you don't know, you don't know what you're gonna get there. Third round, they come out and pick. You just never know, man. And then and then the rest of the way, you know, it's, it's players you hadn't really even heard of, right? So these mock drafts are fun, and it's fun getting getting these names out there. And hopefully the Cowboys will adjust a little bit how they're drafting because they need to. If they're going to put so much emphasis on building through the draft, little twat, then your entire draft class needs to be better. I mean, if that's what y'all are going to do, right? Then that's what we expect from you. And really, it's not, it's not, that, that, that is just isn't realistic, but that's what they're, that's the corner they put themselves into. Guys, let me know what you guys think about mock draft city. Give me your mock draft in the comments, all right? I don't want to hear any bitching, all right? Go do that in another channel. I want to see mock drafts in the comments, man. Give me your mock drafts. Give me your trade down and uh, how, how, to, how to acquire another fourth rounder. I, I think you need that fourth rounder to get you that other missing piece. You know, fourth round, I think, is where the talent really kind of ends right there o outside the fourth you're throwing darts it happens every year you know after the fourth round everybody has this this best available fuckers and the people that get drafted are almost virtually nobody talks about right i mean we we, we have big draft classes that come into the league every year so when you get outside that fourth round it's dart throwing time baby so guys let me know what you guys think put your mock drafts in the comments I'll see you for the next one. <laughs>